Hello, welcome to today's class. We in this lesson we learn about income statement and uh, the whole income statement. We have already uh, described on how you can uh, prepare the trading part. So the trading part we already done. You can check in our previous video. And now we'll uh, analyze the whole income statement that include the trading and the 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 trading part and the uh, the profit or loss account part. So starting. Then we will start with, uh, let's make three columns here. So these are three columns. So we start with the trading part like the, we did in the previously. We start with the sales. Then put in this other column. Then uh, what adjust sales is then return inward. So we are supposed to subtract it from the sales and then you get the net sales. There's our net sales. Then from there we get to the cost of sale part, which are supposed to subtract from the sales. So less cost of sales. And we say the cost of sale have three parts, which is the opening stock purchases and its adjustment then the closing stock starting with the opening stock in the middle column for adjusting purchases then you have the purchases um, then you can put it in the middle column let us adjust the purchases first purchases adjusted by the carriage inward To be added we have freight charges if they, they are there we have uh, then you have to reduce like return outward the purchases return then another adjustment is like a uh, stock drawing stock drawing So whatever we get there as adjustment of the purchases we earned with the adjustment of opening stock and uh, whatever we get here these goods cost of goods available for sale then to get the cost of goods available for sale we need to adjust it with the closing stock so the closing stock Then uh, you subtract it from the cost of goods available for sale, and the amount you get here is what we call the cost of sale. As we had explained in the previous video, you can watch for, uh, to get the explanation in details in the previous video. So when you have that, then to get the gross profit, then you less the cost of sales from the the net sales because we said that. Um, the gross profit is given by the sales at sales net sales you less the cost of sales so you put them in the the final column here then you less the cost of sales from the sales and what you get here is a gross profit yes so we have gotten the gross profit now you'll proceed in getting the net profit how do you get the net profit net profit uh, you get net profit after this is the gross profit plus other incomes other incomes then you less other expenses which are indirect expenses remember our pro gross profit is an income so that's why you are seeing other incomes then you less other all expenses that are indirect indirect direct expenses so we'll start by adding other income and other income and other incomes include something like a discount received maybe by the moment you are doing the purchases 
of goods, you are given discount. Though I'll explain this uh, after uh, preparing the, the balance sheet or statement of financial uh, position, so you can understand how this is adjusted. The discount itself, that's discount received, discount allowed. So in the, in, a, in the point of income is discount uh, received. You receive the discount from your suppliers. So that's another income. Another could be interest received. Then you earned. So if we can consider that those two for now to be added in that, that one make the total now, the total income. So the amount you get here, so we can sum this, that is gross profit plus other income. And the value we get here, we can call it the total income. Then from the total income, now we less the expenses, less the expenses. You'll just list but a few for demonstration. Then we have told you these incomes and expenses, we will explain them further the moment we go to the further adjustment of final statements. So expenses include like we had discount received, so we can put like discount allowed here. You allow discount to your customers, discount allowed. So we put them in the middle column. So that you can adjust all of them, then we uh, we finally subtract from the total income to get the profit. Maybe you had uh, workers uh, or employees, so you had uh, maybe you are paying wages and salaries paid. So still in that. So maybe you are paying also rent, so rent paid. Remember, you could be having a rental, so you could be receiving the, the rent. That's why I'm including paid. Yeah, that is it. So total of that, then we sum it, and we put it here. Then it's supposed to be deducted from the total income. So the total income less the total expenses, as uh, you have adjusted in that point, then it will give us the net profit all sometimes it's a loss when it's a loss it should appear in a bracket like that this is how we prepare the net profit or loss and that's how the income statement is prepared so if i can take you through from the top there you'll see its formation we have the three columns uh, that is uh, then uh, starting with adjusting the the trading part this one you can check very uh, well it is well explained in the previous video then from there you have come to the point where you have you have discovered your gross profit then adjusted it with the uh, other incomes that is discount received interest received then you get a total income then expenditure that is uh, uh, indirect expenses discount allowed wages rent and many other then you get the net profit. Now this net profit or loss that you get in the income statement is transferred to the statement of financial position. That is the balance sheet. So watch our next video. We see how we will transfer this in preparation of statement of financial position or the balance sheet. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel, more videos and learn with us. Thank you very much.